Hey guys, it's Tin Man. See that tree right there? Just for an idea, the junction of branches right there used to be about there when I first noticed the tree. It was only a tree this big. And it's this big now. And that was less than two years ago. But more importantly, the reason I stopped on such a busy road, it seems, is because of this. I wanted to ask you guys, tell me what you see right now. Start saying the answers, what you see right here. Go ahead, anybody who wants to. Just start telling me what you see. You know what I see? I see a trail for big beans. I see a different number of things, but the biggest one I want to show you that so many of us are unaware of until you hear it like this in this statement, okay? We can kind of understand being able to see this little stream going there. We can, we can understand that a little bit. But if you look at that, you see how this stream is actually a trail of water? Well, that trail of water goes all the way through there, right? You can see the rest of the trail. And if I were able to fly down that way, we'd be able to go around that corner and really determine that it's uh, a good trail. Now I'm going to surprise you big time. There could be other trails under here of streams that we just don't happen to see. But, and the reason why I say that is because this is the realness of how this plant wants to grow under these guys care. I claim they care for these blackberry bush, but this is how a blackberry bush just wants to grow. So why has it not attached itself there? It's kind of funny why they don't get into doing a tunnel system with it, because they could do an awesome tunnel system really there. But why is it like that? Why doesn't those plants reach across there? Why doesn't that happen? Why doesn't it happen in so many cases? But in some cases where we don't see it, it can be happening. There could be water accumulating in there in a big puddle that we don't know. There's no reason for the plants not to um, just grow. Another thing, pay attention to this. You see how little of leaves have gone yellow on these? In their day, they used to be up with the other uh, trees, I believe, and fall and stuff. Not too sure on all of that. Part of the reason why you find peculiarness in the fall of the, the leaves, you don't find them to be maybe how you might have perceived them before, then there, there are understandings when, within these beings and their care of what's going on there. So this moment, I'm not talking about that at this moment. I'm just kind of talking about trails. I'm tra talking about paths. I'm talking about veins just like us they connect very well with paths with trails people just think we have that normally in us a deer does not really follow a trail if he comes to a comfortable way he will follow that comfortable way but he's really just walking around like an ant's walking around might have a little bit more thinking to it than an ant but the same idea, they're just walking around looking for something to eat, be, keeping in their wares and their understanding of what's going on. And when you really start going there with lots of different beings and understandings and stuff and realize that we humans had to, to some extent, design using trails and how to efficiently use them and stuff like that and how to build them and stuff, it didn't come so natural. So, these guys are as us in that sense. However, they've choose to learn it. Maybe they learned it off of us. 
But the thing is, they've learned very well how to use trails and paths, and they have an assortment of them that we have really no idea on. Really no idea on. This happens to get to be one of theirs. Peace out from the Tin Man. Hopefully you're um, following the path I'm talking about. You see all these trees up there? Watch your tree line. Watch the peculiarness of the trees. Wonder why these three trees right there have all new tops. This one's got a couple of new tops. Wonder that stuff. Peace out. Did you hear that little peep of a bark? Could be.